Hi, I'm Brian from the SRAM Brake Team. I just finished installing new SRAM brakes and rotors on these bikes, and now I'm going to go through the very important brake bed-in procedure with you. All new brake pads and rotors should be put through a wear-in process known as bed-in prior to your first ride. Bedding in your brakes ensures the most consistent and powerful performance along with the quietest braking in most riding conditions. This process heats up the brake pads and rotors, depositing an even layer of pad material to the braking surface of the rotor. This transfer layer optimizes braking performance. Warning, the bed-in process requires you to perform heavy braking. You must be familiar with the power and operation of disc brakes prior to performing the bed-in procedure. Braking heavily when not familiar with the power and operation of disc brakes could cause you to crash, which could lead to serious injury or death. If you are unfamiliar with the power and operation of disc brakes, you should have the bed-in process performed by a qualified bicycle mechanic. To begin this process, find a parking lot or low traffic area where you can repeatedly speed up and slow down on the bicycle safely. To achieve optimal results, remain seated on the bike during the entire bed-in procedure. An important note, you should not lock up the wheels at any point during the bed-in procedure. The goal is to drag the pads on the rotor in order to evenly transfer brake pad material. Start by accelerating the bike to a moderate speed. Then firmly and evenly apply the brakes until you are at walking speed. Then release the brakes. Do not come to a complete stop during this process. Repeat these steps approximately 20 times you will begin to feel the brakes biting more or feeling more powerful. Continue the process to ensure an even transfer of braking material. Now, accelerate the bike to a faster speed. Then very firmly apply the brakes until you are at walking speed. Then release the brakes. Repeat these steps approximately 10 times. Once you've completed this process, let the brakes cool to allow the material to set prior to any additional riding or braking. Remember, do not lock up the wheels when dismounting the bike. And that's it. Your brakes are now ready to safely bring you to a controlled stop in any condition. Remember to perform this procedure anytime you install new rotors and pads to ensure maximum braking performance. Thanks for watching.